This is video one of a three-part series introducing new features for ANSYS Mechanical 2019 R2. The most visible update for R2 is the new ribbon command bar that replaces both the main menus and toolbars. Similar in appearance to other common applications, the ribbon reorganizes features into tabs and groups. The options are contained in the groups and organized by functionality. Model and graphical selection options are available using the graphics toolbar. The Quick Launch tool enables you to quickly find a desired function, feature, or interface option. As you type in the Quick Launch search box, results display in three categories, Ribbon, Context tab, and Preferences. Preferences category selections open the Options dialog. Material assignment in Mechanical has changed. You can now assign a material directly from the Engineering Data Libraries without accessing the Engineering Data Workspace. The new interface panel enables you to search and immediately assign available materials. When you select a material from the Materials folder in the outline, you can now view the material data, values, etc. being used by Mechanical. Another license-based Mechanical interface enhancement for 2019 R2 is the inclusion of the Granta Materials Data for Simulation product. Updates have been made to the worksheet used by the Commands object, including an auto-completion feature based on character entry, as well as a tooltip banner. There's also a new search feature, an updated zoom feature, and the display of line numbers and hidden characters as options in the worksheet. Additional general enhancements for R2 include Hotkeys are now contained in the Independent Key Assignments window. This lists all the keyboard shortcuts that are available in the application. the ability to save an interface layout that you have created. You may often take the time to position the various interface windows and panes of the simulation in a specific manner. You can now save this layout for use at any time. The ability to add user-defined buttons to the Automation tab. You can create, edit, and manage user-defined buttons that perform desired actions. For static structural and modal analyses, you can now export your simulation as a NASTRAN bulk data file. Mechanical now allows the combination of two-dimensional and three-dimensional bodies in the same model. Shell bodies only, defined in the XY plane, can be set to 3D or 2D using the dimension property on the body object. Mechanical then uses this property to write the appropriate element type to the input file. Using Mechanical's smart methodology, you can now specify multiple cracks in the model and associate each crack with its respective smart crack growth object. The Fracture tool now enables you to automatically group results for multiple cracks using the new Crack Selection Mode property. Several enhancements have been made to the substructure analysis. If you change the mesh of parts that are not contained inside of a condensed part, the condensed part no longer needs to be regenerated. In the worksheet, you can now select multiple rows for the right-click menu options, Go to Selected Items, and Delete. The generation process now supports distributed ANSYS. You can now mesh your geometry in SpaceClaim and open it in Mechanical. This enables you to craft a mesh in greater detail for use in your mechanical simulation. There's a new mesh feature, Mesh-Based Connections, that enables you to connect the mesh of your model without performing edge imprints or specifying geometry level shared topology. The application now resolves model intersections, such as beams and shells, that include mid-surface gaps during the mesh process. 